हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आर ट्रेंड टी वी आई एम यू विजेश अगैन फ्रॉम सूर्य बला फोर्ड टूडे वाई मे टूर एंड आई एम हियर विद द न्यू फोर्ड फिगो डीजल बी एस सिक्स टाइटानियम वेरियंट एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अ डिटेल टेस्ट ड्राइव ऑफ इट एंड सी वाई इट इज द फेवरेट कार अमॉन्ग डीजल हैचबैक एंथोजिया इन द इंडियन मार्केट सो लेट्स गोइंग फॉर अ डिटेल टेस्ट ड्राइव Yes folks right now I am inside the Ford Figo BS6 diesel titanium variant and I am going to start the car let's check out the NVH first So as you can see it is not the quietest in terms of NVH but it is nice and sporty it is kind of uh, unique that even though you get the engine noise you do not get any sort of vibration even on the steering wheel or even the pedals it is very very refined for a diesel engine so let's just start driving well the first impression is that the steering wheel is very very light surprisingly light for a ford because as you may already know people who have driven the old ford figo may have gotten used to the heavy feel of the hydraulic steering wheel but that is not the case over here Now that was a speed bump and i am relatively at low speed but the ride quality is very very good just trust me it is very very good now we have a free stretch let's get revving that was 3000 rpm in second gear and i easily reached 50 and now we have to brake let me just turn on the aircon because it's kind of hot today Now let's get to a rough road. Now we are in the rough stretch of a race course, Coimbatore. As you can see, the car remains absolutely composed, even on rough roads. you do not get any sort of undulation uh, any sort of uh, annoying frequency from the suspension or anything it just remains stable it's only the wheel that uh, bounces up and down the body does not that is how good the suspension tuning of the ford figo is the handling is amazing the steering is absolutely direct even if you uh turn the steering wheel just for 1 or 2 degrees it responds immediately it is very very responsive for an electronic uh, power steering it's not a hydraulic but still it's amazing in terms of response and it weighs up gradually as you expect from a ford steering wheel which is really very nice suspension is amazing you barely feel anything inside the car the steering wheel is amazing as well in terms of response the gear gear shifts are slightly notchy but still they work absolutely fine the ratios are spot on this engine works amazingly with this gearbox and sorry for that i have been driving the polo and vento for some time so i've gotten used to the left side uh, indicator of those cars So right now we have a free stretch and you can see me going. That was 3500 rpm in 60 km per hour in second gear and this is now third gear. I'm approaching 80 around 3000 rpm and now in fourth. That's all I reached 100 <laughs> in no time. This engine is mind blowing in terms of response. Let me just take a U-turn here. There's no traffic and You can see how easy it is to handle this car in city. The turning radius is beautiful. The steering response is amazing. You can basically use just one little finger to handle this car. The ride quality is beautiful. Well, <laughs> there is nothing in terms of negatives in the driving dynamics and quality of this car. It is beautiful. I am enjoying the drive. I mean, it may be just around 100 PS of power on paper, but this car feels a lot more faster than that. 
Only thing is that the gear box is slightly notchy. It could have been a little bit better. The clutch is reasonably light. The brakes are also bitey. It is nice. It just works fine. Everything mechanically with this car is beautiful. It is amazing. There is nothing to fault. And even if you are driving at higher gears at low speeds, just look at this. I am driving at 40 km per hour in fourth gear. And even if I put my put my foot down, that is just a bit of lag before it actually picks up. And the turbo spools up around 1,500 rpm, which is which is just good enough. Which is good for most purposes, for overtaking, for hill climbs, everything. It is beautifully composed, very well tuned, I would say. And this car does not have a sixth gear, so we have to do with fifth. Uh, on highways, which is fine, I guess, which is fine because this engine is capable for most of the purposes for any kind of speeds. 100 PS is not uh, <laughs> less kind of power, even on paper and even in this car. So let me just get to a free stretch to actually check the potential of this engine. So the signal has been given. And I am right now driving in a relaxed space only just to check the low gear potential of this car, the low RPM potential of this car. So I am now starting it into fourth in just around 38 km per hour. And there is a bit of lag. Even if your uh, foot is welded to the pedal, there is a bit of lag. It takes some time to respond. As you can see, I am doing nothing. It is just in fourth. And when you reach around, say, 60, well, 57 to be precise, it gets going gets going at a rapid pace around 1500 rpm is where the turbo kicks in and it kicks in very strong and very punchy and as you can see these speeds aren't legal in city uh, conditions so do not try to do high speeds in city environment so that's all let's just conclude this review once we get to the showroom now let's have a look at the exterior of the Ford Figo Titanium variant. The Ford Figo has always been a decent looking hatchback with more focus towards practicality than aesthetics. Starting from the front, you get to see that this not being the top spec variant, you do not get front fog lamps and the headlamps are non-projector units even on the top spec model. However, you still get nice chrome detailing on the front grille with the lower Adam receiving black treatment. Moving on towards the sides, the Ford Figo Titanium variant receives 15-inch dual-tone alloy wheels, even though not being the top-spec blue variant. The wheel design is also different when compared to the BS4 Ford Figo. Here's a quick look at the side profile of the Ford Figo Titanium variant, and it is from the sides and the rear that the Ford Figo looks quite ordinary. The overall design is quite clean and simple, without any excitement. Coming to the back, you can also see that the tail lamps remain exactly the same. They are large and functional, while the overall design has been kept very simple. The Titanium variant no longer gets a rear windshield defogger and rear wiper. And the BS6 Titanium variant also loses out on a touchscreen system with reverse parking camera, while reverse sensors are made standard across all variants. So that was all about the exterior design details of the Ford Figo Titanium variant. Now let's have a look inside. Yes folks, I am right now in the BS6 compliant Ford Figo diesel titanium variant and this is how the interior looks like. This is not the top spec variant so you do not get a touchscreen system and neither you get an automatic climate control AC. Instead you get only manual AC and uh, along with that you also get just this two DIN audio system which is not touchscreen. However, you get sort of other connectivity options and you also get a mobile phone mount over here which also has a USB socket for charging purposes, which is a nice innovative touch. Uh, so coming to other features, of course, you get this very standard steering wheel, which is nice, thick and very sporty to look and hold. You also get a tilt adjust function as standard across all variants. And this being the titanium variant, you also get steering mounted audio controls on the left side. However, this car does not get cruise control on any variant of uh, the diesel or petrol versions. Instead, you get only automatic headlamps on the top spec blue variant. Now, coming to headlamps, this being the titanium variant, you do not get automatic headlamps. And however, you still get the very same rotary switch function kind of combi uh, switches over here on the right side of the steering wheel. You get all the headlamp functions here itself. This is for turning on the headlamp. 
and this is for uh, leveling the headlamp and over here is the button for the rear fog lamp now this being the titanium variant you do not get a front fog lamp only the titanium plus and the blue variants get a front fog lamp this is the button for the rear fog lamp and this is the button for popping open the boot of the Ford Figo so that's all about that this even though being a mid-spec variant gets an engine start stop button which is a nice and premium uh, touch coming to the other bits of the center console you get the now not so decorative uh, gear lever this is a five speed transmission however on the bs4 figo you get you used to get piano black finish along with certain chrome accents on the gear lever itself but this is clearly not the case with the bs6 version this is just a plain gear now which is standard across all variants of the ford figo now and this here is the 12 volt charging socket and this here is the tray a rubberized tray for actually placing your phone for storing your phone while it's being charged on the top spec variants you used to get a usb socket and an aux socket over here but they are moved towards here this is where you actually connect your um, your usb socket for your phone so that's all about that you do not get an aux port clearly still it is fine and apart from that you get all the standard cup holders and storage pockets everywhere this here is the key of the car which also can be used for opening the boot if you press this button twice so that is fine as well you get a very large bottle holder over here so as to compensate for the lack of rear seat bottle holders on the doors talking about storage spaces of course you get a decently sized glove box which is very nice and sturdy in terms of feel so that is very very useful along with that you also get dual bottle holders on the front doors which is also very very nice and this being the mid-spec variant you get four speakers which are of standard quality and the audio quality is very very decent it is not bad at all even though it is a stock system let me just try turning on the ignition of this car to check out the instrument cluster and the audio system so this is how everything looks like when everything is turned on when the ignition is turned on the instrument cluster is largely the same across all variants of the ford figo and this is the mid where you get all the details because everything else is analog you get an analog uh, fuel display analog speedometer and an analog tachometer this here is useful if you are uh, if you need all the information such as oil life the trip meter distance to empty average economy engine temperature gauge so on everything is totally fine this is the average uh, speed of today's drive as well so that is nice all the features you will need is present in this variant itself except for a touchscreen system and a reverse parking camera so that is really very very good coming to the roof of course you get a day night switch for the irvm only the top spec titanium plus and the blue variants get an auto dimming electrochromic irvm and of course you get dual sun visors with only the passenger side getting a rather nice quality uh, mirror vanity mirror and this here is the cabin light for the interior however the cabin light is present only for the front seats the rear seats the rear passengers do not get any sort of interior cabin lights which is kind of an omission but still it is very very fine coming to this system of course it can be paired with your phone using bluetooth and uh, it also has other connectivity options such as pen drive, uh, USB and of course you also get voice command functions as well as you can clearly see but still it is not the best. It is just about decent and the audio quality is decent as well. Of course it gets FM. Let me just uh, check the audio quality. As you can see the audio quality is very very good for a mid-spec uh, stock system. Coming to the driver door, you get to see all four power windows with only the driver window getting an auto down and an auto up function which is really very very handy even for this mid-spec variant because usually this feature is available only on the top spec variants of any other car. It is a nice surprise to see this feature on a mid-spec variant. All other, other windows are actually standard power windows with no auto up or down function which is fine totally and this here is the central lock button for all the windows so that is good as well the orvms are not foldable not power foldable these are just manual folding orvms electric folding orvms are available only on the top spec titanium plus and the blue variants of the ford figo bs6 so that's all about the front part of the ford figo bs6 titanium variant let's just get to the back seat to check out 
the comfort and the features. Yes folks, right now I'm in the backseat of the new BS6 compliant Ford Figo diesel titanium variant and this is how the dashboard looks like from the rear seat. This may not be the top spec variant and this may not be the most advanced in terms of technology or features but it is still very very decently equipped and gets all the essential features you'll ever need. So coming to the rear seats, of course the space has remained always the same with decent amount of legroom, decent amount of footroom and a pretty good amount of uh, headroom as well. However, one grouse is that this part of the front seat is quite hard with some sort of a plastic panel or a metal panel. Actually that is metal. So it kind of hurts your leg if you just uh, keep on pressing on it. So it is not the most comfortable but you have to uh, keep on reminding yourself as not to keep on pressing on the back side of the front seat. Apart from that, it is nice and comfortable here. The thigh support is decent. It is not bad at all. And you get a tall upright position, which is kind of like a chair and very, very comfortable and easy for even elders. The good part about the Ford Figo is that you get adjustable rear headrests from the mid-spec variant itself. That is very very nice attention to safety talking about safety of course the Ford Figo is available with dual airbags ABS EBD as standard from the entry level variant itself including other features such as pre-tensioner equipped seat belts engine immobilizer and central locking remote central locking is available only from the mid spec variant meanwhile the top spec titanium plus and the blue variants of the Ford Figo also get side curtain airbags including thorax airbags on the side of the front seats so that is clearly not present on this titanium mid-spec variant but still in terms of safety the Ford Figo scores three stars in global end cap crash tests which is actually very very nice uh, the top spec variants may score even better with side curtain airbags as well so that's all about the rear seats of the Ford Figo diesel titanium now let's check out the boot Yes, now I'm going to open the boot of the Ford Figo and this is it. You get the very same 257 liters in overall luggage capacity and of course you get the very square loading bay except for the fact that the loading lip is quite high and the sill is also quite high. You also have the option of folding flat the rear seats by pressing these buttons on the shoulders. However, even on the top spec variant, you do not get a 60-40 split folding function. But this is still fine and very usable if you want to load larger items. Under the boot floor you get to see a space saver spare wheel of 14 inch size with 175 section Apollo Amazer tire. So that was all about the boot space of the Ford Figo BS6 titanium variant. Now let's have a look under the bonnet. Opening the bonnet of the Ford Figo diesel titanium variant, you get to see the very same 1.5 litre TDCI 4 cylinder turbocharged diesel engine which produces a massive 100 PS of power and a torque figure of 215 Newton meters through a 5 speed manual transmission only. This is easily one among the best compact diesel engines in the Indian market today, providing enthusiastic performance, great economy while also being very very easy to drive. The Ford Figo diesel is in fact the most powerful diesel compact hatchback in India today. This engine is also relatively inexpensive to maintain while also being adequately refined and very reliable. So now let's talk about the pricing and conclude this review. That was a detailed test drive review of the Ford Figo Titanium Diesel variant. I think this is still the best diesel hatchback for enthusiasts in the Indian market. So do let me know in the comment section below what do you think about the Ford Figo. The pricing is on the screen for you right now. Meanwhile, this is Viprajesh signing off. See you on another video. Thank you for watching.